Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about changing mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. So by the way, I already have a previous video about introduction to fractions, wherein I discussed there the definition of fractions, the different types of fractions like the mixed numbers and improper fractions. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link of that video in the description so you can check it also. Okay, so going back to the topic of this video, this time I will teach you how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. So as I recall, we know that improper fractions are fractions whose numerators are greater than the denominators. So for example, we have 4 over 3, 3 over 2, 7 over 6, and so on. So these are improper fractions because the numerators are greater than the denominator. Okay? While for mixed numbers, we know that these are the fractions that involve a whole number and a fraction. So for example, we have 1 and 1 half, 4 and 3 fifths, 6 and 7 eighths, and so on. So these improper fractions that I listed here can be converted to mixed numbers as well as these mixed numbers that I listed here can also be converted to improper fractions. So I'm gonna teach you in this video the steps on how to do that, okay? So to illustrate the steps on how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa, let's solve some examples. So for the first one, we have convert the following to improper fractions. So we have three mixed numbers here, and we need to convert them into improper fractions. So let's start with A, 1 and 2 fifths. So the first step to convert a mixed number to improper fraction is we need to multiply the denominator to the whole number. So when we multiply that, we have 1 times 5, it is equal to 5, right? And then we need to add to the product 5, the numerator, which is 2. So we have 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So therefore, this final answer of 7 will be the new numerator of our improper fraction and then we'll just need to copy the same denominator which is 5. So therefore, 1 and 2 fifths is equivalent to 7 over 5 as the improper fraction. Okay? Next for B, we have 3 and 4 over 7. So, doing the same steps, we need to multiply first the denominator by the whole number. So, we have 7 times 3 is 21. And then, we need to add the product to the whole number, which is 4. So, we have 21 plus 4 or 25. So, therefore, this 25 will be the new numerator of the improper fraction. And we just need to copy the same denominator. So, therefore, the improper fraction for 3 and 4 sevenths is 25 over 7. Okay. Lastly, for C, we have 2 and 7 over 10. So the first step is we need to multiply the denominator 10 by the whole number 2. So we have 10 times 2 is 20. And then we need to add to this product 20, the numerator, which is 7. So we have 20 plus 7 is 27. So therefore, the improper fraction for this mixed number is equivalent to 27 divided by same denominator of 10. So, 27 over 10. Okay? Next, we have convert the following to mixed numbers. So, this time, we are given three improper fractions. What we need to do is to convert them to mixed numbers. Okay, so let's start with A. 25 over 2. So, the main steps in converting an improper fraction to mixed number is by division. So, we need to divide the numerator 25 by the denominator 2. So, we have 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we need to bring down 5. So, 5 divided by 2 is 2. Times 2 is 4. So, subtract 5 minus 4 is 1. So, therefore, we have a quotient of 12 and a remainder of 1. So, this quotient of 12 will be the whole number for the mixed number. So, we have 12. And then, this remainder of 1 will be the numerator of the fraction part of the mixed number. So, we have 1 over same denominator, which is 2. So, therefore, 25 over 2 is equivalent to 12 and 1 half as mixed number. Okay? Next, let's have B. 
52 over 7. So, same step, we need to divide 52 by 7. So, we have 52 divided by 7. We have 7, right? 7 times 7 is 49. Subtract 52 minus 49 is 3. So, therefore, we have a quotient of 7 and a remainder of 3. So, transforming this into mixed number, we have the quotient 7 as the whole number, the remainder 3 as the numerator of the fractional part of the mixed number. So, we have 3 over the same denominator, which is 7. So, therefore, 52 over 7 is equivalent to 7 and 3 sevenths as a mixed number. Okay? Lastly, for C, so we have 10 over 3. So, doing the same steps, we have 10 divided by 3. So, 10 divided by 3 is 3. Multiply 3 times 3, we have 9. Then, 10 minus 9 is 1. So, we have a quotient of 3 and a remainder of 1. So, 3 will be the whole number of the mixed number. The remainder 1 will be the numerator of the fractional part of the mixed number over the same denominator, which is 3. So, therefore, 10 over 3 is equivalent to 3 and 1 third as a mixed number. Now, we can check if our answer is correct. So, we can transform back these mixed numbers that we got to improper fraction by applying the same steps as we did on the first problem. So, let's try to check if 3 and 1 third is really equivalent to 10 over 3 as an improper fraction. So, we need to multiply the denominator of 3 by the whole number 3. So, we have 3 times 3 is 9. And then, add the product 9 to the numerator which is 1. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. So, therefore, 3 and 1 third converted to improper fraction will be 10 divided by the same denominator which is 3. So, 10 over 3. So, therefore, it is the same as the original mixed number. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Okay? Okay, so that's how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. So, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.